Hey, man, I'm Jeremy with those Lonely Boys. What do y'all want? Hey, leave me alone. <laughs> right. I'm jamming right now. I'm jam only. Anyways, it's, uh, what time is it? 7.39 in the morning. We're not live on the radio yet. We're going to be live, but we're not live yet. But we're going to be live, but we're not live yet. Little Lonely Boys, Velvet Sky's playing right now. You need to make sure and download my mobile app. Download it. Go to robertrebusradio.com and download my free, free, free mobile app. Maybe you can join me not only on Facebook. Good morning, shout out going to Mr. Daniel Lopez. There we go, Broadway Finance in the Casa. Hey, dude, I'm going to be giving you a call today. Need to talk to you. Anyways, let's see here. Let me do some good morning, shout out. Good morning to Minda going out to Naomi. Garza, good morning, good morning. Sally Sanchez, good morning. Dora Alaniz, buenos dias, buenos dias. Daniel Lopez, how you doing, brother? Anyways, I've been seeing a couple of pictures of you on Facebook today. Hey, man, you're styling and profiling and everything, Daniel. We're getting ready to go live. Let's go live. Here we go. Here we go. Good morning, Double R Radio. Wednesday morning, hot day. Wednesday it is. Love, lonely boys. Velvet sky. Anyways, rain and more rain and more rain. I'm tired of all this rain. It's pissing me off. It really is. It's making me want to go outside and kick the neighbor's cat or dog. Either one's going to work. It doesn't matter. Either one's going to make me feel a whole lot better. It really is. Anyways, it's the Wednesday morning. Wendell's yes, thanks for waking up with me. See, it's not so bad waking up with me. I don't snore that bad, you see. Anyways, let's do some good morning shout outs here. Here we go. Good morning shout out going up to Mr. Daniel Lopez of Broadway Finance. You need money. You call Broadway Finance now, now, now. Wow. I'm getting all hyper this morning, but if you need money, don't call me. Uh -uh, you're not going to get no money from me. You call Broadway Finance or get a hold of Daniel Lopez on Facebook. He will take care of you. There you go. Good morning. Shout out good to Naomi Garza. To me. Good morning. Good morning. Sally Sanchez. Good morning. Good morning. Dora Alaniz. Buenos dias, Dora. There we go. To me. Let me see here. Who is going on? Sally Sanchez. Good morning. Joyce Aragon. Hey, Joyce. You promised me some breakfast tacos. Joyce said... Joyce lives in Colorado. She said, Robert, I'm going to make you some breakfast tacos and UPS them to you. Uh, Joyce says, uh, um, did you send them like two-week delivery, one-month delivery? Because I'm still waiting for those breakfast tacos, Joyce. Good morning, shout out to Cynthia Gonzalez. Let me this. She used to text us in the casa. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Joyce says, let me see here. Desi Betancourt Garcia, Chicago in the casa. Good morning. Irma Medina, good morning, good morning. There we go, and there we go. Chicago in the casa. Rosemary Gomez, good morning, Rosemary. How you doing? There we go, Rosemary. Fadi Estimate, Buenos dias, Buenos dias. Wednesday morning, hump day Wednesday. Double R Radio. Um, Let's see what's going on. Let's see here. You know, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share the story with you guys. This is a sad story, and I'm not joking around either. No, no, I'm not joking around. Y'all always think I'm always joking around. I'm not joking around on this one. This is a sad story. This one caught my attention, and I said, this is crazy, man. This is sad. Check this out. This happened here in San Antonio. I take it back. It happened in Oklahoma City. A baby was found strapped into a car seat and abandoned on the side of a busy highway with $5,000 in cash in the baby seat. How crazy is this? At first glance, people were driving along Interstate 40 in Oklahoma City, and they thought they were seeing a doll inside a baby seat in a patch of grass and weeds. The driver of a school bus pulled over to the side, and he quickly realized it wasn't a play doll inside a baby car seat. It was an actual baby inside a car seat on the side of the highway. How crazy! Who in the hell leaves a baby in the car seat on the side of the highway? And it gets kind of more weird. Well, several people stopped to go check out what was going on, and they also found $5,000 in cash in the baby seat. How crazy is this, man? That poor little baby. Well, the baby was taken to the emergency room, and they checked him out, and the baby was doing just fine. That's why I'm reporting this, but, man, I mean... Who leaves a baby in a grassy patch on the side of the highway with $5,000? That's simply crazy. Uh, George Aragon Rivas says, Hey, Robert, I thought you got your tacos already. <laughs> no, Joyce, I never got my tacos, Joyce, man. What happened, Joyce? Hey, what happened? All right. Right, expecting breakfast tacos from Colorado. <laughs> Can you imagine how those tacos are going to get here? Right, right, there we go. Rosemary Fadia says, poor little baby. That's right, man, poor little baby. Anyways, I used to use that line when I used to go to the bars. 
Oh, poor little baby, let's go dance, baby, and then get her drunk, and I say, oh, poor little baby, you're drunk, you need somebody to help you get home, and then I take her home, and then from there, poor little baby, you need some TLC, and uh, well, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to go no more further than that, because this is a family show, all I know is that Joyce Azaragón Zivas promised me breakfast tacos, I know, I'll settle down, all right, all right, now, let's keep on talking here, let's see what else is going on, check this out. A Florida deputy's nephew is facing felony charges after he stole his uncle's uniform, his equipment, and his patrol car, and wanted to be a cop. <laughs> hey, dude, it's not even Halloween till next month. So, a Florida deputy's nephew is facing felony charges. Why? Because he broke into his uncle's house, he stole his uniform, stole his gun, stole his car, and pretended to be a cop. Get covered on, right? <laughs> right. Get covered on. You know, I'm going to share a story with you guys. Let me tell you what happened to me yesterday. And I'm very, very upset about this. I really, really am. There we go. Good morning, Rosemary Flores from Robstown. I've been to Robstown many, many times. Good morning, Rosemary. There we go. Anyways, it's the, it is Wednesday morning now. Yesterday evening. Well, let me say this. Let me backtrack here. Yesterday for lunch, I stopped at this place here in San Antonio. It's called Rolando's Tacos. Okay. They're called super tacos because the tacos are about this big. I'm not making this up. Those tacos are monstrous. And just like that taco goes in, it comes out the same way. Pretty big. I don't know what I'm going to say. Well, anyway, yesterday I had their lunch special. It was steak a la mexicana. True. Steak a la mexicana. And, uh, well, um, when I got the plate, it was nasty. It was ugly. It had no taste, no flavor. Kind of reminded me of my prom date back in 78. Same thing, no taste, no flavor. I could have put the whole thing of salt on that food and it would have had no flavor whatsoever. I'm talking about it right now and I'm getting grossed out. So I really didn't eat anything till yesterday evening. Yesterday evening I went to Frontier Burger. Have y'all ever been to Frontier Burger? Right here, man, on Broadway 410, Frontier Burger. Well, anyways, I went in there to have a hamburger and I want to tell you, man, let me tell you what I hate about stuff like this. When you get a hamburger and you can tell it's been sitting underneath a light for about an hour. The hamburger was dry. It was just, I mean, I don't know, you probably go, Robert, you complain about all your food. No, I don't. But the hamburger last night was really dry. It had been sitting there. The buns were all stale, kind of like a, you know what, I'm not even going to go there. But really, man, so I ate the hamburger because I, I don't want to complain. I'm tired of complaining. You know what happens if you complain, right? If you go to a restaurant and you complain about whatever food that they didn't make right, it doesn't taste right, and they take it back to the kitchen, you never know what they're going to do to your food. You don't know. I don't want to complain, man. I'm a nice guy. So I just ate the hamburger, and I said, I'm never coming here again. Good morning. Shout out to Melissa Ramirez. Good morning. There we go. Anyway, John R. Sanchez. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Wednesday morning. Home day Wednesday. Now. We're expecting more and more rain here in San Antonio. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of all this rain. <laughs> I'm serious. So today, today I'm going to stop by Walmart and I'm going to do something I've never done in my entire life. Huh? No, not have sex. I've had sex before. Uh, I just need another person now. No, but really, what I'm going to do today, I'm going to stop by Walmart and buy an umbrella. I am. I'm going to buy an umbrella. I'm going to stop by Walmart tomorrow and buy an umbrella. Good morning, shout out to Linda Ramos. Good morning, Rebecca Trevino. Good morning, good morning. And I'm going to buy an umbrella. So, um, I don't know which one I'm going to buy, but I need to buy one that's manly. I don't want a pink one or one with little bunnies and little birdies. Well, hey, man, that sounds pretty good, actually. But no, I need to get a manly umbrella. Something with skeletons. Something with fire. Something que vato locos forever. Something like that. So I'm going to go to Walmart today and buy an umbrella. I've never done that before, so, hey, well, I'm there. I might as well buy a brand new pack of underwear since I'm there. Anyways, it is Wednesday morning. Let's get me going. Let's do something by Stephanie Lynn and High Energy Muriendo a Cachitos. Wednesday morning, Double R Radio. Good morning. <sighs> where y'all at? Who's where? I'm here in San Antonio, and I'm over here on 410 in Nacogdoches, and, um, you know, I could go for a donut. I love donuts with pink sprinkles, don't y'all? Little pink sprinkles on it. But I can't do that. I cannot go to a donut shop. I can't do that. It's not manly for a guy like me, a self-respecting bato loco, to go into a donut shop and say, um, can I have a donut with, with pink sprinkles on it? <laughs> it doesn't work. It really doesn't. 
Uh, Daniel Lopez says, buy it at Home Depot. Big and cheap. Five dollars. Hey, dude, that's my line. I used to tell the girls that back in 78. It's big and cheap. Hey, dude, that's my line. Good morning, shout out to Maria Canelo. There we go. Good morning, Roxanne Gomez. Good morning, Roxanne. Uh, we're not live on the radio no more because you're too late. Y'all are too late. Whoever just joining right now, you're too late to be on the radio. But uh, we are live here on Facebook right now. Get back to my radio station, okay? And uh, you can download my free, free, free mobile app at robertreversradio.com and join me right now. Good morning.